In the next several videos, we're going to explore the Drupal interface. But before we do that, let me highlight just a few really important terms. For this class, because you set up your Drupal site, you are user number one, or the super user. This is a user that is above all other users in Drupal. And even though you might set up some administrators who have all the permissions, those permissions can still be revoked or managed by the super user. The super user's permissions can never be revoked. And so today, congratulations, you have access to absolutely every area of your Drupal site. So remember, user number one is the super user on a new Drupal site. Number two, this is the administration toolbar. When we click on manage, we're taken to the sub menu here of content structure, appearance, etc. And we'll look at each of those in just a moment. If you click on shortcuts, there's a shortcuts toolbar here as well. And again, we'll look at that in just a moment. If I click on admin, I can see the links to my own profile or to log out. It's called admin here in the toolbar because that's the username I put in. Yours may be different. So once again, this is the administration toolbar, and it's an important part of your Drupal administration experience. If I want to add something to the shortcut bar, it's actually quite simple. For instance, if I'm in Manage Content and I want to add an article to my website, you'll notice there's a star here that isn't filled in. By clicking on this, I can add that to the shortcuts. So now if I click on Shortcuts, you'll see a Create Article menu item here in the shortcuts that I can then just as easily remove when I'm done creating articles. This can be done from virtually any administration screen on your Drupal site, giving you these shortcuts that makes it really quick to move around. When I click on an area of my site, you'll notice that there are tabs. And these kinds of tabs will pop up all over the place. These tabs are important, and they're called section tabs. Obviously, they look at different sections of whatever screen you might be working on. Sometimes these have subsection buttons, and that's what you're seeing here. Global Settings, Bartik, Classy, and 7 are subsection buttons of the Settings tab. Last one for now, every Drupal content item is called a node. We don't have any nodes yet. We don't have any content on our site. We'll be creating that in an upcoming video. And so, administration toolbar, submenu, section tabs, and subsection buttons are some things you'll need to know as we move through the Drupal interface. Starting in the next video, we'll explore each one of these important areas as we begin to learn Drupal.